The showdown continues between President Trump and the House GOP over tax laws for 401k plans. Earlier in the week, the president tweeted, there will be no change to your 401k. This has always been a great and popular middle class tax break that works and it stays. Despite his assurances, the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, Kevin Brady, says they are still exploring the idea of lowering the $18,000 pre-tax limit on your 401k. And it's not the only tax issue that could hurt the middle class. The president's chief economic advisor, Gary Cohn, that's his real name, reportedly wants to raise the federal gas tax to pay for infrastructure improvements. The tax has stayed the same since 1990, but that would be a little consolation to voters who would get hammered by the increased price of gas and goods. Here with me now, economist Ben Stein. He's also the author of the brand new book, The Capitalist Code. It can save your life and make you rich. In stores now. I want to be as rich as you someday, Ben. Well, I'm sure you're much richer than I am. You're certainly rich in youth and beauty, whereas I am old and fat, and thereby that makes me <laughs> poor by the standards of the world. Uh, let's create our own standard, shall we? Yes. What do you think of lowering the limit on 401k pre-tax in Bad idea. I think right? We, we Bad idea. Come on, man. We want, to, we, want to, we want to encourage to people to save up and yeah. to prepare for their old age. Preparing for your old age is a hell of a big job, and we don't want to do anything to discourage it whatsoever. We nope. want people to be in there. Incentivize them. Incentivizing them. And by the way, they should have their own incentives because to be old and worried about money is a horrible way to be. Uh, they should be saving right now. And they should be saving in the stock market, hooking up their little caboose or their wagon yeah. to the capitalist machine, mm. the free enterprise capitalist machine, yes. the greatest and the Fed. And the Fed. Wait a minute. They don't need to be hooking it up to the Fed. No, don't don't hook it up to end no, the Fed. No, no, we're no. We're done with the Fed. No, no, we're not done with the Fed. We like no. the Fed. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. If you don't like the Fed, you're... I just got uh, you're... emotionally aroused there for a second, Ben. <laughs> I was I was right there with you on the capitalist machine. Uh, so, what do we do as, as far as taxes and really creating uh, this impressive tax reform that we've been promised? It doesn't look like we're going to get that. No, it doesn't look like we're going to. And I don't think we really want. I wanted to tell you the truth, except in one big regard. Mm -hmm. There should not be a corporate tax at all. There should be a tax on the stockholders who own the corporation, but not a tax on the corporation itself. That what would is, that do? Well, that would cut out one giant level of bureaucracy. It would also allow the taxpayers to be much richer because they would be getting the money directly without the government taking a big slice out of the Fantastic. middle. Fantastic. And it would create a lot more incentive to invest, especially if it was uh, jury-rigged so that it would be uh, yeah. set up to pay more of a, a bonus to people who invest here at home. But th this idea of having a corporate tax uh, in the middle, so to speak, consumer, corporation, stockholder, no need for that one in the middle. Yep. They created it during World War I, re-upped it during World War II to, to raise money. We don't need now, it now. Now, stop raising money on our taxes. The Capitalist Code, great book. I know you're close with Jimmy Kimmel. Has he reached very, out to very you during to this difficult time for advice? You gave him his first TV job. Uh, he, uh, he, he earned it. I didn't give it to him. He earned it. He was a genius. He still is a genius. Uh, I'm sorry that he has quarreled with some of the people here at Fox. Uh, he is a wonderful, wonderful man. He's an astonishing genius. He's an incredibly kind man. I love him a lot, and I just wish I could convince him a little bit about the Republican versus Democrat thing. But he's a wonderful, wonderful guy, and he knows where his bread is buttered. He is... Uh, a, a thorough progressive, but he is also thorough, a thoroughly understanding of uh, how he got to be rich. How do you describe yourself? Oh, I am a thoroughgoing capitalist. I've been a Republican since before you were born. I'm guessing you to be about 22. That's I've been right. Republican Maybe since long, long, yeah. long before that. I don't think I've ever voted for a Democrat for anything, but I will say if Henry Jackson were running, I'd vote for him right now, but he's been dead for many, many years. Mm -hmm. But he might be better dead than some of the others are alive. Uh, I would describe myself as a person who really, really, really believes in capitalism. Capitalism is a great thing. It is, it is a great thing. It, it is, is perhaps great the great, that, that is one of the lessons that my dad imbued upon all of us. Tomorrow would have been his 77th oh, birthday. God, God rest his soul. On his headstone, it says three words, father, grandfather, capitalist. Really? Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Thank you for being here. It's my, my honor to be here, My honor to be here. Go buy the book immediately. Thank you, sir. God bless you, madam.